In the heart of Detroit's 8 Mile lies the city's biggest and baddest pawn shop. Nobody messes with us here. Get off! This is where customers find fast cash. So. And sometimes lose their minds. Call the cops! You won't believe. Oh my God! What's in store? My kid could have got killed! Right now on Hardcore Pawn. Nikki. Yes? Do me a favor, switch out with Christina. Seth makes a change. Get out of my no, feet I want somebody right now. Slow what the hell's going on here? Without the boss's approval. Back to my office. You move the girls back? I've been running this store for years. What's wrong with you? Do you not? Guys, I know guys. it's the right way to it's do it. Not. Stop! This place is going to be in real trouble. Sell this right here. How much time sell it for? 400. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to get you that much to sell it. How close you talking about coming to? Probably a couple hundred. A couple of hundred? It's worth 400. That's 14K right there. It's more like 10K. Get somebody up here that know what they talking about, because bitch, you don't know what you're talking about. Hey, Seth. Yeah. He wants 400 to sell it. I thought it would be a couple hundred. 200. That's about right. Nah, oh, man. That's 14K right there. It's worth it's more 10 than 10 carats. Look so, at it, man. Yeah. It seems like you'll know what the f you're talking about. I know exactly what we're doing, and I know that this is uh, 10 carats. Man, you calling me a liar, man. I'm just saying that you're not being honest. I'm saying if you're feeling that way, man, come on out here and holler at me, man. Come on out here and holler at me, dog. Now what? It's worth 400, man. It's That's what I'm trying to tell you. We said 200. Do you want I it said or it's not? Worth it's worth 400, like man. Get out of my hey, face. Hey, hold on, man. Get out of my face. I'm saying a what? Or else what? Or what? Or what? Watch it. So. Oh, you want to see what? it? You're going to see it right now. There you go. Watch out, man. Hold up. Hold up, man. Go. Hold up, man. I'm go telling go you. Go. I ain't going go. about it, cop, bro. I'm telling you, man. Turn around and walk up. That's all you, man. Let me go, bro. Let go on me, bro, man. Let me go, bro. What's wrong with you, man? Don't mm -hmm. put your mother hands on me. What's wrong with y'all? Have a good day, bud. Have a good day. 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 What's the problem? No one got you to quit yet? What's the problem? You haven't grown up yet? I'm fed up with this damn window today. My window is a high traffic window for pissed customers. Sir, yeah. can I please hold down the window one? Yeah, who's working there? Uh, Nikki. Nikki? Nikki? Yes? Do me a favor, switch out with Christina. Why? Because we're switching. Window one is the easiest window to work at. All you do is collect money from people wanting to get their stuff out of pawn. You don't have to process loans. You don't have to deal with irate customers. Crab baby. Might it always put the same girls at the same windows, but sometimes you need to switch it up. Can you sign a ticket, ma'am? You don't have to hover around me. That's cool. Eventually, yeah, it's going down here. When I feel like it. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hello. I'm Ashley. I'm Craig. Nice to meet you. What do we got? We have a auto stereoscope. It was built in 1905 and it's uh, kind of like a little Victorian-era peep show. A Victorian-era peep show? OK. All you have to do is put a nickel in, look through the viewfinder. OK. It will start to flip the pictures all by itself. It was cool. 
I mean, these girls were in feathers. These were considered rather racy at the time. It was like a piece of art. And how long have you had it? I've just had it for about a month. I found it in an antique shop in Chicago. This item's really cool, but this is more up my dad's alley. Dad, can you come here for a sec? Sure. This is my dad. How you Les. doing? I'm Les. Hi, Craig. Uh, nice he is very you. much into antiques. Oh, sweet. Hey. Tell me a little bit about your mutoscope. It's uh, one of the earliest models. Okay. It's like looking through a nice view master. Uh-huh. Naked girls all over the place. She was cute. Gross. How much did you want for this thing? I've got about $1,900 tied up into it. So you bought this yeah. for $1,900? Yeah. I'm supposed to be putting floors in our condominium, and this okay. came, came out of my floor fund. But my wife doesn't think it's as cool as a floor would be. The number that you're asking, it's retail. Yeah. My offer would be less than 1000 because dealers, that's what they pay. I'm just trying to get out of it whole. Are you willing to budge? That can't do it. Sorry. Sorry. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Thank you for looking Good at luck. it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's too bad I couldn't close the deal. I'll just say goodbye to the naked women. I can't do anything for you. Can I talk to somebody about it? There's nothing I can do about it. 2320. Next. Can you sign that for me? Seth, with his great ideas, tells me to switch windows with Christina because she's having problems with the long line. Why do I have to switch windows with her? Because she can't handle her job. Thanks, Seth. Good job, buddy. Cry, baby. Get your ass back down there. What? You having fun? I am. In my seat? You know what, ma'am? No, get out my seat. I had if she's going to come down here and help you. Come on. Get out my chair. Bye. Beat it. Get out my no, seat I want somebody right now. Slow what the hell's going on here? Seth told me to switch. <laughs> shut <laughs> up. Can you shut up? I'm He's talking to me. I'm better than talking to me. Better than Seth, to me. shut the hell up. He's talking to me. Coming up. You can't just make changes like this without talking to me about it. When will this end? Seth clearly hasn't learned when he doesn't work with me, bad things happen. Your brother's an ass. Get out my no, seat I want somebody right now. Slow what the hell's going on here? Seth told me to switch. <laughs> shut up. Can you shut up? I'm He's talking to me. I'm better than talking to me. Seth, talk, shut, shut the hell up. He's okay, to okay, me. okay. Seth said for me to go sit down there because she was shut the hell up being a crybaby, and I want my seat back. Give me a minute. Stupid. I want my chair back. It's one thing if customers are arguing, but not my employees on my side of the window. What the hell are you doing? With what? I got Nikki and Christina bitching at each other because you switch windows? What the hell are you thinking? Christina asked me, she was dealing with an irate customer. I switched her window to window one. What's the problem? You need to earn window one. Just because Christina's having a bad day doesn't give her the right to work that window. You can't just make changes like this without talking to me about it. I need to run this by you? I you just need a simple switch. You know, in the old days, when I was here without you and your sister. When there were three people here? There was still a lot of people here, you know. Let me tell you something. I've done this already, Seth. I've worked through all these uh, issues. When will this end? I made a simple swap at the windows. Christina's staying there. Guess what, Seth? Still my store. Seth clearly hasn't learned from his body search idea. When he doesn't work with me, bad things happen. Your brother's an ass. You know what? I don't even want to know. I'm gonna be doing business for a long time. Hello. I, I can hear. How are you? Fine. How are you today? I'm good. I can hear. I sure would like to sell this bullhorn today. Dude, I can hear you. Can you hear? I can hear fine. Good. So why are you still using that? 
but I don't talk very loud. I'm a low talker. Put that down. How much money do you need? I would like $50. That'll pay for my vocal cord lessons. I can help you build up your vocal cords. What's your favorite color? Red. Louder. Red. Louder. Red. Louder. Red. Louder. Red. 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 Louder. Red. Louder. Red. Louder. Red. Louder. Red. You're doing it good. Yeah, it's better. See, you don't need this thing. I'm having fun with this guy, so I wanted to help him. But bullhorns, they're not in demand. Why would I give you $50 for this thing? That's, that's, that's a commercial-style bullhorn. You're crazy. Uh, well, we offer. Five bucks. 20? Five. That's the best you can do? That's it. Can't give me 20? Five bucks. Take it or leave it. I guess I'll take the five. OK, we got a deal. But guess what? What? You're leaving talking louder. I knew I was always going to be a pawnbroker. Five bucks a buy. But a vocal coach? Thank you. OK, thank you, Ashley. Have a good day. You have a day, good day, too. I think that these women were fighting over a laptop. I don't know what the hell the problem is. All I know is this has nothing to do with us. What happened? First of all, this bitch owed me so much money. If I win, I'm gonna get whatever I gotta get when I gotta get. Coming up, Ashley makes a plea for peace. I've been running this store for years. What's wrong with you? Do you not understand? I know Guys, it's the right. Stop. the problem is Please. I think that these women were fighting over a laptop. You know what? We ain't even friends no motherfucking mo. You don't come to my house. That's why your punk ass got a wall called motherfucking mama. You got a wall. Okay, 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 okay. All right, that's enough. That's enough. All this time, my laptop was missing. My best friend stole it, but I got my laptop. That's all that matters. All right, go uh -huh. ahead. Home. All right. We try to resolve situations, but I don't know what these people were thinking. At least they weren't yelling at us. Little bony ass bitch. Walk on, walk. Get money back. Walk on, walk. Walk back. You hoe. Eat a bagged ass hoe, bitch. Twenty. We almost lost all of our redeemed girls because of Seth's poor decisions. Now is not the time to be pissing off our employees and messing with the business. Nikki, come with me. What we're going to do, Christine, is we're going to switch windows back. Thank you. Ha ha. Ass kissing at his finest, right? Ha ha. Bye. I don't need to ask Seth's opinion. This way, we have good customer service instead of our employees fighting with each other. Hello, how can I help you? How you doing? I'm Seth. I'm David. Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what do you got? I got a bowling ball. It's not an ordinary bowling ball. It's a Sugar Ray Leonard bowling ball. Well, this particular ball was signed by Sugar Ray in Las Vegas. He only did that for 200 of them. How'd you get it? I got it in an estate sale. 
I'm only selling this because I'm trying to raise money for my daughter's schooling. I see a lot of sporting memorabilia come through these doors with a Sugar Ray boxing glove inside a bowling ball. Now that's unique. So here's okay, some so uh, documentation me. that uh, shows this personal signature. It's authenticated. So how much do you want? I want $500 for this. I mean, he's famous, but I don't think his autograph should fetch 500 bucks. OK, what do you think it's worth then? 100 bucks. 100? Come on, the ball itself was $200 when it was new. When it was new. It's not new. Give me 300. Not trusted. 100 and a quarter. Uh, all right. I can let it go for 250. 150. 150. But it's a collector item. Right. All right, how about my final offer is $200? 160 bucks. No, man, we're only talking $40 difference. Buck 75. 200, we're only talking $25. I know, that's it. No. And I appreciate it, though. Appreciate you bringing it in. All right, you're letting it go for $25. You're letting it go for $25. I came in here at $500. You only compromised $100. Buck 80. Come on, you can do better than that. 190. 200, we got a deal. 190. You're a tough negotiator, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> I'm walking. All right, wrap it up, 200. I knew you'd come around. I wanted to see how far he would go. Well, he was going. He was going all the way out the door. 200. I nice meeting you. you. Around. Yep, no Doesn't happen often where I give the guy what he wants. The guy fought hard, and he deserved to win. But I'm still satisfied with my investment. Out of one can. Long department. She's not at this window anymore. Her extension is 207. She's not down here. If it's a phone call for me, you could have transferred the phone down here. I just told him to call your extension. You could have transferred it down here. That's your damn job. I don't work for you. I forgot I was dealing with kids. I forgot that. You done crying? You talking a lot of shit from the other side of the damn room. What you say? Because you talking a lot of shit from the other side of the room. You the one started all this crap, baby. See, that's, that's, that's gonna be a problem. Touch me. That's gonna be a problem. Don't touch okay, me. Okay, girls. I'm probably just gonna have to shut y'all ass up. Girls. You ain't gonna do Side of the you the one started all this crap, baby. See, OK, girls. What you want to do? I'm probably just going to have to shut y'all ass up. Girls. You ain't going to do Hey. OK. Girls. So what's the problem? Seth told me to move down there, and then Les told me to move back. Your dad's telling me to do one thing. Your brother's telling her to do another. OK, you go back to your window. You go back to your window. Don't talk to each other. This is getting out of control, and my dad and brother are completely responsible for this mess. It has to stop. You need to call Seth in here. There's you a big problem. Yeah, there's a big problem. You want to enlighten me, or? We need to wait till Seth comes in. Seth to my office. the girls back I moved them for a reason are you kidding me I've been running this store for years what's wrong with you do you not understand my brother wants to run the store one way my dad wants to run the store another way I know the right way to do it son and you're no, the president of the company blah 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 Zero also communication. the two of them are acting like children I know Guys, it's the right way to do it and it is enough stop Nikki and Christina almost beat each other up in the loan office that is not professional what's going on in here not professional you have zero communication. And this is I'm, what happens what when you're quiet. Do you, well, you got to tell me what you're doing. You I told you what I was doing. Call me afterwards. I know how to run a voice, Seth. You don't. You guys what are acting like idiots. Yeah, I know how to run Because he keeps doing this. No. Let me tell you. 
what? If those guys don't get their together real soon, this place is gonna be in real trouble. I made that decision, you stick by it. I'll make the decisions, and you stick by it.